Okay, this video is similar to the previous one, but we're making a custom brush using a photo. So if you find a photo you like, it might have a cool texture or there's a tree or just a nice shape in the photo that you think would make a cool brush. I'll show you how to go and do that. So if you watched the previous video, this is the brush we made. This was just making our own one by drawing the bristles but with this new brush we're going to use a photo and this is the photo so have the photo layer selected click W or click up here for the magic wand tool and you can click an area so I'm going to select this these cogs here these gears and hold shift and it will select multiple areas you can also hold alt if you made a mistake and that will deselect the area so I'm just selecting the different gears here Just picking out the cool shapes that I like. Oh, made a mistake. Okay. So now that I've got that selected, I can then make a new layer. Let's hide the photo layer. And I can just paint into that selection. Or a quicker way is to hold Alt and Backspace. I'm pretty sure the equivalent for Alt on the on the Mac is Apple. So if I say Alt, just know that I'm referring to Apple. Or it might be Option. Not quite sure. I'm a PC user myself. I'm sure you guys know what I'm, what the difference is. Okay. So now that we've got this shape here, we can control control click that layer in the layers palette and you'll see it's selected selected this shape here now we go to edit define brush define brush preset just call it gears okay just hide that hide the selection control d to deselect or you can go edit Oh, sorry, select, de deselect. Now, if we choose our brush and we go to our brushes palette, you'll see that we've now got this cool brush that we can paint with. Now, then we can begin to change the change the options of that brush. Go brushes. Or you can go brush here, window brush. Or you can find it elsewhere, this little icon here. So we can change things like the, the spacing, the shape dynamics, so you might want it more random. So you can see we've got this cool graphical gear brush and you can you can really do a whole painting with with the brush just changing different settings and making it less less or more random you know the the possibilities are endless with it so yeah just experiment have fun and yeah that's the that's the basics of it and you'll be able to then take that to really um do what do what you want and you know you can see the potential for it just with that one photo so yeah definitely try it have fun and hopefully it was useful and helpful for you check out 
more videos to come or the ones I've already posted. So yeah, see you later.